All right, what's up guys? It's Dr. Tom with the Doctors of Physical Therapy. And today we're gonna to go over the number one most common mistake that people use with the foam roller. Foam rolling is an exercise that we give a lot of our patients. We can use it for the back, the leg, the IT band, the back of the shoulder and the lats. And for <clears throat> any of those muscles, what's most important is that you avoid the mistake of just rolling over those knots. You actually want to find the areas where you feel like there is a little bit of pain and you kind of want to relax into those areas. Take 10 to 15 seconds, maybe unload it a little bit with your elbow here or increase your load by bringing your hips up. But you definitely want to find a point at which you can just relax into whatever point that you're on and give it some time to relax. Regardless, after about 10 to 15 seconds of doing that nice deep breathing, you can move on to another spot. And that's another thing that's important. You wanna make sure that you actually go through that period of taking those nice deep breaths. That encourages your body to relax versus tensing up and breathing quickly, which will not allow your body and the muscles to relax and won't allow the foam rolling to be effective. So in summary, find those spots that hurt a little bit and just stick with it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Move on to another spot. You can use it for your back, your TFL, your lats, those are things that we'll go over in, in uh, other videos.